Hello YouTube and especially hello all Minidisc fans all over the world. Yeah, today I want to show you my newest latest Minidisc purchase because I replaced my Sony MDS JE510 Minidisc deck with this bad boy right here. This is a Sony MXD D3 CD mini disc deck and yeah I want to tell you why I replaced my mini disc deck with this one because it was a pain in the ass to record specific tracks from a CD onto mini disc because I don't have a proper CD player so the only option that I had to play CDs in a way that it also uh, sets the track marks was playing the CDs with this Panasonic DVD recorder. Unfortunately, this DVD recorder doesn't give me the ability to program the tracks. So I can't say only play tracks number 1, 3, 6 and 12. Doesn't work. I mean, I can create a playlist of some sort, but only with, uh, with MP3 CDs, but not with standard audio CDs. So that sucked. So I was looking for a good solution and I kind of, by accident, stumbled across this baby right here. So it came with the original manual. It came with the original remote control, which is ah, this one. So it kind of sucks a little bit that uh, there are three letters on each button instead of one. But mm, who cares? So yeah, let's just talk about this one. What can it do? What has it? And... How much did I spend for it? <laughs> I spent, well, 80 bucks, 80 euros. That's not a bad thing. So what can we do with this bad baby? Bad baby, blah, 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 blah. English is hard. Um, where we can do the standard mini disc stuff, you know, combine, divide, title, whatsoever. Um, We can also uh, adjust the amp. It has a sleep timer. We can record in stereo or mono. We can set the decibel. I don't even know why we can set it for the CD or for everything, basically. Why? Don't even know. But we can set those things. Um, it has also a fader function, so here we can set the fader length for fading out or fading in. Uh, unfortunately, the fader doesn't work if we sync crack from a CD, so I have to record the CD manually in order to use the sync crack function and recording a CD from this CD player manually sucks. It's a pain in the ass because I really thought all I have to do is hit record on the mini disc side and then push play on the CD side and as soon as the CD starts to play the mini disc recorder starts to record. No, it doesn't. For some reason it just doesn't. Even if uh, live sync is activated it just doesn't you can't even push play on both sides at the same time because it kind of offsets each other and only the mini disc recorder starts to record but the CD player still goes back into pause mode so the only way to do this is start recording start playing it won't start a new song but if I use the style to go back to the beginning of the song that is playing 
then the CD, uh, then the mini disc recorder starts to record a new track, and then I can also uh, use the fader to fade out. I mean, it's a pain in the ass, but I don't think that I will ever use the fader again. I used it on three mini discs, but I think that's about it. So, yeah, smart space is something that we can set. T Mark Live Sync. So typical stuff. Um, it also has an undo function. So like the other mini disc deck. And it has another thing that could be useful. I don't know. It has the ability to copy track names, but only within the same disc. So if you say, hey, I want the title for track number two to be the title of track number nine, you can copy the title and yeah. Or maybe if you divide a track, then the new track doesn't have a name, so you can copy the first name and you know where I'm getting with this. So that's something that this thing has. Uh, what else? Uh, it has a pitch control. Whoever needs it, maybe if you have a recording from a record player or something that didn't have a pitch control. We have headphone output. For some reason it's telling me that it also has a coax, but I haven't seen it. It only has line in, line out and optical line in. Unfortunately no optical line out. Uh, what else? Well, we can, of course, um, we have the racket function. It means if we have a mini disc in here and a CD in here, we listen to our CD and maybe we like a specific song and we say, hey, this song sounds pretty good. I want to have this song on my mini disc. So you just push the racket button. So it starts to play this song again from the beginning and it records the song on the mini disc and as soon as the song is over the recording stops and the CD continues to play. So that's a nice convenient thing I think. But um, yeah, let me just tell you what I like most about this machine. or. What makes this machine kind of unique is this right here. This is uh, the CD Synchro recording function. And as you can see, we have the ability to record something from CD onto mini disc in high speed. And that kind of blew my mind because I never thought that something like this was even possible. After all those years, I have just learned something new about mini discs or about mini disc devices in this case. Because I really thought the only way to record something on a mini disc would be in real time. And if you want to get something on your mini disc faster than real time, the only way is NetMD. But apparently some CD mini disc decks also have a high speed recording function. Don't think that I will use it because I like listening to my music while I'm recording it. But well, it's one of those features that is nice to have. Cut. But what's really cool about this deck is this right here. Focus. Yes, this CD player is capable of reading CD text and if you record something from a CD with CD text it also records and copies the track information onto the mini disc. So I don't have to title my tracks separately or manually and that's really cool and really convenient. So um, let's just take a look at it. So here we have Tenacious D, the pick of destiny, which happens to be a CD with CD text. Let's 
through you can also see that it detected the CD text. If the camera would focus! Uh, it won't focus there. So, yeah. So if we change the display to uh, CD, you can see that we have the track names right here. So all I have to do right now is putting in a, CD, uh, a mini disc. And then I can just press normal. It starts to synchronize. Um, let's change the display to mini disc. So you can see it also copies the track information. So stop it. So now let's do it with high speed. Let's go to the CD. Just hit pause. So let's do it in high speed. Takes a little bit longer, but it works. Unfortunately, you can't hear anything, but as you can see, that's the way it is. So I don't think that I will use it because, I don't know, I'm still kind of paranoid about reading errors or distortion or something like this because this unit seems to be really picky with some CDs. You know, like CDs with printing concentrated on the back, uh, on the sides or shaped discs, scratched discs. And I have two uh, CDs CDRWs from Sony and only one of them works on this. Apparently, or the strange thing is, the one that is less scratched is the one that doesn't work on this deck. <laughs> so that's kind of weird. So I think that's enough about this demonstration. So Let's just say we want to play this track. And I say, yeah, this track sounds good. Just push the record button. And it starts recording and it also copies the CD text. And as you can see, if the recording stops, the CD continues to play. So, yeah, that's quite nice. Only stupid thing is that it doesn't change back from CD mini disc. So let's go back to the mini disc menu. And here we have the songs that we have just recorded. Yeah, that's this baby, the Sony MXD D3. And unfortunately, if you record something manually from this CD, it doesn't copy the CD text information. So that's the only thing that kind of sucks. And another thing that I don't really like is that uh, some CDs that have CD text are always in big letters, the entire word. And that's something that I don't like, so I have to rename them again. <laughs> but you can't have everything, right? Yeah, you can also choose the play mode and all the stuff. And what, what I like about this deck is 
that it shows me the title of the track and the time at the same time. You know, with the other deck, I only had the option to see the title or the time. But here I can see both things. What I don't like is that I don't see how many tracks there are on the disc. I mean, yes, I can see it right here, but I don't know. I prefer it if you have like this little thing on the side where you can see how many tracks you have, how many tracks are left. I don't know, but that's just the way it is. Yeah, anything else? Did I forget anything? Mm, I don't... I don't think so. Yeah, that's it. That's the Sony MXD D3 CD mini disc deck with high speed synchro recording and with CD text ability. So it's a really cool and nice solid deck and I think 80 euros that's not too much for a deck like this because it's really useful if you copy CDs with CD text. By the way, why doesn't Toast, the burning program for Mac, why doesn't Toast burn the CDs with CD text? Can anybody explain this? I don't get it. I mean, I checked the little checkbox, but after the burning process, the songs are still titled track one, track two, track three, but no CD text. But it works with iTunes. So why doesn't it work with Toast? I have absolutely no idea. Stupid thing is, iTunes doesn't support FLAG, so I always have to convert FLAG files into Apple Looseless or Wave. But, you know, like I already said, you can't have everything. So this is the mini disc, mini disc deck, the Sony MDS MXD D3. God dang it, those names. So I hope you liked this video. Maybe there will be more mini disc videos in the future, but I think that's the last mini disc device that I ever got. So um, yeah, see you soon with more unpredictable videos and keep the mini disc alive. Even I know that Sony stops producing them next month, but that's just the way it is. We keep it alive. So bye.